Hey guys, how's it going? In this series, we've completed 38 of the 40 Steam achievements, but today we're going to be getting the last two, which are to beat Journey of the Prairie King and to do it without dying. If you haven't seen the previous videos in this series, make sure to click the card right here and subscribe to see future videos in this series. So, we all know how this works by now. What mods am I going to be using? Well, nothing that changes the game. Really the only thing I can do that would even remotely help is I'm going to be using the CJB item spawner to spawn in an arcade machine. That might not make sense right now, but trust me, once we get into some of the tips and tricks, then you'll understand why I have that there. Even though I don't have any mods that I'm using, I have a few tips and tricks that'll really help for all of you guys trying to do this at home. Some things I gotta mention is, first of all, sorry, this is just my voice, I don't have the game audio because for some reason the files were just completely corrupted and the audio was just terrible. And so instead I'm doing this voice over after the fact. Here's where my first big tip comes in. Once you beat any level, you want to go home and then go to bed. What this does is it saves the game. It saves the fact that you haven't died in the run, and it saves the fact that you've gotten up to whatever level you're at. This way, if you ever die in a level, you can just reload the save. I am playing on controller, but that's nothing that anyone else has to do. It's just my preference, because that's how I learned when I was playing it on Switch. This is the shop, so we've been collecting coins this whole time. By this point, you want to have at least collected 8 coins so that you can buy the boots. If you can, buy the ammo box. If you can't buy the boots, you're going to want to reset the game, because getting that unlucky is pretty bad, but you really need these boots by this point. So now we're just going to be working our way through the levels one by one. You're going to want to try and hang on to what I just got, which is the sheriff's badge this is just a pretty helpful power up that you're going to want for some of the later levels one thing to note is i am cutting out all the times that i'm going to bed just know that yeah i am still doing that going to bed after every single level Now you're going to want to buy the other thing if you bought the ammo, now you want to buy the boots, and vice versa. If you can't buy these, reset. This boss, once you've played for a while, becomes the easiest level in the entire game. So just play it once or twice and then you'll know everything you need to. Now that we're on World 2, a lot of the enemies are much faster, and it takes more bullets to kill them, which is why we bought the ammo box and the boots to counteract that. Here we are at the shop. Here I bought the gun. Not a bad decision, some would argue that maybe you should save up for the ammo box, but I'm just going to risk it right now, and you know, if you get lucky, that's just better. Alright, this is a level that I struggle with a lot, as you can see, I died already. So what are we going to do? We're going to go up here, and we're going to reset the save. Let's just exit to the main title, and then load the game.
at this point you need to be able to buy at this point you really want to be able to buy the ammo it's not game ending if you can't as you can see i couldn't afford it because i bought the gun which might be a way that other people would improve my strategy let's see how that worked out for me in the long run this is the next boss it's pretty much exactly like the first one just with more health so everyone should be able to beat it pretty quickly and move on to the third world these mummies take so many hits if you haven't bought the second ammo upgrade which is why that's such a key thing you are really going to want to be doing. As you can see, I'm kind of blown through it. I already died one time in this level. Okay. I don't know what I was supposed to do about that. I was just standing there on the side and then an enemy spawned there. What, uh, whatever. Don't stand next to the walls. So I feel like this is a good time to introduce the reset counter. Yes, that's right. How many times am I going to reset so that I can get this quote unquote deathless run? In these later levels, my death counter kind of goes up quite a bit. But here we are, and as you can see, I still can't afford it. At this point, if you haven't got it, you should reset. You, you really should. I didn't though, and that's why this became a giant problem. <laughs> so, I'm just kind of working through this. Ah, uh, died again. Yeah, okay. No sweat, just retry. Here we go. Got some good power-ups, some good combos there, so that's pretty sick. Alright, that one actually only took one death, that's pretty... That didn't take me many deaths, that's pretty impressive. However, this level killed me. Not just once. Nah, <laughs> not just twice. It killed me, um many times many many times this level is um soul crushing this one i spent about an hour trying to beat it was not fun so i decided i was going to try again reset this whole thing and then meet you guys back up again when i get to this level all right here we are take two or take 20 depending on how you want to look at it but here we are. As you can see in the bottom left corner, I've upgraded the gun and ammo twice. That just happens if you're luckier with money and the boots one time. Here we are at the shop. I wouldn't really recommend buying boots if you can buy anything else that's good for you at this point. And now we move on to the final boss. Unlike the first two bosses, this one's pretty hard. As you can see, you can line yourself up so that you don't get shot, but it does get shot. And that's a pretty helpful tip. And then you're just going to want to be bobbing and weaving. And there we go! We did it! We beat the final boss. We beat the entire game without dying. Comment down below, you guys, if you've like ever played Journey of the Prairie King, and if you have, how far you've gotten, or if you've beaten it before. We have now completed all 40 Steam achievements for Stardew Valley. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you have a fantastic day.